Hello everyone, welcome back to Jane Tourism and Wealth. My name is Tara. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. You know, I truly do appreciate you. If you aren't new, you're a part of the what? Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. And if you're a part of the Grateful Gang, please, um, we loved you over here. I appreciate it. Don't leave. Stay with me. I know I can't sing. But if you're not a part of the Grateful Gang, please hit that subscribe button over here. We do budgeting as well as first-time homeownership type things and vlogs and such and things like that. Today, we're actually doing a Trader Joe's haul. I don't usually do hauls. Like, I do them quick on shorts. But I did a haul today because I don't usually live by Trader Joe's. I don't, I don't really live close to Trader Joe's. It's not far but when you're headed into the city of Atlanta, it like feels like 10, 12 miles takes you 35, 45 minutes. So my friend drove me because I don't get on the highway and I didn't know there was like a back way or whatnot. So thank you, D, for taking me. Now, this is a couple days later. So I went on Friday and it's Tuesday. So when I show you this banana, don't judge me. And this is just one of the bananas and then some of the stuff I already ate. So one of the things that I did eat was this like puffs, these uh, sour cream cheese puff things. They were delicious and I ate it already. It's gone. I spent $49.83. Looks like it's upside down. Now it's upside down. Backwards. Okay, believe me when I tell y'all. It was $49. <laughs> okay, and 83 cents. So here's my banana. The rest are back there in the bowl i got some bananas which was really cheap they were like 19 cents a piece um then i also picked up a pair asian pears which are like my favorite kind of pears and i've already eaten one so i got two of them i'm gonna stop backing up now so then i also picked up this uncrystallized candy ginger i love ginger i i've already started eating this but they had the crystallized. I was trying to avoid the extra sugar, but I love these crystallized. Who likes ginger? Like, ginger is nice. Some people say it's too spicy, but I like it. Um, I also picked up a lot of frozen stuff because I was like, I really don't know the next time I'm coming back. And I want to give a few things a try. So I got this Kung Pao chicken. If you don't know, my favorite kinds of food are Asian cuisine, Jamaican cuisine, and Mexican. Um, so there's a chicken fried rice that I also picked up. I'm actually going to make this today. Then there is Trader Giotti's <laughs> um, linguine with pesto and tomatoes. So this is like a meatless meal. I also picked up some crushed ginger things. I love these. So like when I'm making my own Asian food or in like a smoothie, I can throw a cube in there. Um, that, my ones, mine was kind of old, so I got to throw that one away, but everything but the bagel seasoning, bagel sesame seasoning, so good. Also good on bagels, but also good on pretty much anything. Avocado toast and other Asian meals because I use the sesame seed part of it. I love this brown rice. I'm kicking myself right now for only buying one. I should have picked up two at the time, but it's this frozen brown rice and it really only takes like three minutes in the microwave to cook and... It's three in a pack. I also picked up some sweet potato fries, something I can easily throw in my air fryer on like a Friday. I also grabbed some garlic naan bread. I think these would make really good mini pizzas and they're frozen too, so they're not gonna, you know, go out of date really quickly. I really wanna bake something. So there's this pumpkin bread and muffin mix that I picked up, hoping to make that soon. I believe this is the one that only needs only needs eggs oil and water so first of all i need to go get some vegetable oil because i usually only have olive oil and olive oil kind of leaves a taste and then i have avocado oil and i don't know how much oil you need but avocado oil is not cheap so it's not like something i want to just throw into something that's just going to cook out speaking of which i ran out of olive oil so i picked up some trader joe's um imported olive oil packed in italy and i picked up some organic carrot turmeric juice blend i was afraid it's going to be too much sugar but when i looked um this is has four servings per container that seems like big servings and it's 70 calories per serving and there's only sugar 
six grams of sugar and no added sugar so i don't know what it's going to taste like but that's actually really good for juice and that was it you guys i think that's i showed y'all everything that i picked up didn't buy super a lot but i think it's enough to like take me through the week last week i have to say i was so good because i had food made and that home chef delivered i did not buy food outside of the house one day last week even on the weekend when i went to my sister's house they bought me a taco for helping them move but i had already bought my lasagna not my lasagna my pasta dish that i made from home chef with me and when i heated it up for my second meal of the day they were like dang that smells good i was like i know because it is <laughs> so it was really nice this week i'm not doing as good without the eat with the not eating out but that's why i bust out my fried rice i'm about to make that so that i don't Anyway, that's the Trader Joe's haul. Don't want to make this video too long. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Do you have a Trader Joe's near you? And um, what is your favorite thing from Trader Joe's? Joe's? Maybe the next time I go, I'll have to check it out. Hello, everyone. Here's a continuation of some grocery hauls. I figured since I just went to Walmart and I hadn't uploaded my Trader Joe haul yet, I would just add on to it. So let's just get right into this. Um, it is 8.04 on a... Thursday evening I just got in from babysitting my niece and I was like my parents came and took over early so I was like let me get to Walmart so let me show you and I've also I'll tell y'all when I get to that item so I picked up some aha water I picked up the um raspberry acai flavor I think that's what I have in my fridge now almost finished and it was good I liked it to me honestly they all kind of taste just like seltzer water to me, and I like that because they give me a little bit of bubbly. And I'll be giving up soda next week, so this will be my uh, replacement. And so this is lime watermelon, which is also another good one. So those two, those two waters. Then, since I still haven't made it to Sam's Club, I picked up some more paper towels. And uh, I still haven't opened the ones, that, the sparkle ones I bought, but I found the great value ones. So I'm interested to see if there's any difference in these two. I think the great value one was absolutely um, cheaper. So let's talk about these snacks. So these snacks are actually Cheez-Its, white cheddar. These are for at work. Um, I find like, I always tell y'all, my coworker brings snacks and then I eat them and then I replace them. So I was putting snacks in my own desk drawer, but I'm realizing that I need to create a different uh, source of income or another envelope, not envelope, but like another category for work snacks because I don't want to keep taking it out of my grocery budget. Um, and work snacks, either I got to stop snacking as much or taking my time because it's coming becoming an issue. Like, I don't want to keep spinning because these snacks are expensive. I spent $52.05 today, and I feel like $10 was on snacks. <laughs> so, that snack. Then, my coworker had bought these, and I ate them, like, the last couple days. So, I'm replenishing these because I'm like that. If you buy it, and I'm going to buy it back. And so, then when I replenished hers, I just went ahead and bought myself a big pack for my own drawer. We usually keep all the snacks in her drawer. That way it stops me from eating them because I'm a little more conscious when I have to go in her drawer. But I just want to keep some in my drawer. But I do need to create like a little snack budget. Then I picked up my... Cho I've never had this kind, but I picked up some Chobani oat milk. Um, and it is extra creamy one and extra creamy good source of vitamin A, D, and calcium. No lactose, no nuts, no gluten. Great, because I think milk hurts my tummy. And there's only 7 grams of sugar. I don't like that all 7 are added sugar, but that's what it is. Um, I got this because I want to make my cocoa. It's cocoa season, and so I want to be able to have my drink. I got some crutch. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I got some soda, which is next week's quit, but I'm having that today. Y'all, hold on. I think I, I call myself multitasking and putting in the chicken in the air fryer to heat up while I'm doing this, but I didn't turn the air fryer on. Really? So hold on. Let me put this milk in this soda way anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah. Y'all, I didn't even close the air fryer drawer. I'm sorry if y'all can hear it now. So I also picked up some Bertoli um, garlic Alfredo. I love Alfredo sauce. And I pick it up when I see it because I feel like lately, I don't know if you guys noticed this, it's kind of hard to find Alfredo sauce in the supermarket. 
Then I picked up some Boat House Farm Sea Boost. I don't know. I just felt like buying this. I like these. Sometimes they do have too much sugar in them and carbs. But I think I'm going to drink this tomorrow for my snack. And then I picked up some Carnation Evaporated Milk. I call it condensed milk. But um, this is also for hot cocoa. I want to try a few different, um, like how to make your own type stuff. Then I was thinking ahead. So it's really weird because also another thing I was thinking I need to do is create a um, another like category for holiday food where I can save a little a bit at a time for stuff I want to just buy for specific holidays, if that makes sense. Um, and I got some pink berry, cranberry, ocean spray drink. I don't know. I was really into the juice today, clearly. Um, but what I'm talking about is I picked up some elbow macaroni. Like I have, I have pasta, but I really wanted elbow macaroni because I really want to make some mac and cheese. And I don't feel like making like a big pan. I'm probably going to make myself a small little pan for Thanksgiving. All I want is mac and cheese, collard greens, and probably like I'll buy a honey baked ham. That is where I'm at with it, right? So I was like, I really need to have, I should have had a holiday food budget because that should also not be coming out of my groceries unless I'm gonna just double up that grocery bill at some point, you know what I mean? So that's another thing I'm thinking of. Um, I was reading some voter thing that popped up. So, um, yeah, I mean, these aren't expensive. They're like a dollar something, which doesn't make sense because I was a little ticked off. Cause, oh, no, it does make sense. This is a 16 ounce, and the other one's 32 ounces. So this was 88 cents, I believe, and this was shells. Because I was like, oh, I can always make mac and cheese with shells. But I'm going to make some mac and cheese, and I wish I could get the collard greens early. I already have cornbread mix, and I need to figure out how to order my honey baked ham and where the closest one is because... I'm not really down for all the cooking this Thanksgiving. I want to chill underneath my blankets watching movies. So I also picked up some cheese because we all know cheese is expensive. So these were like three bucks each. Um, this is extra sharp cheddar, some Kobe Jack, and a pepper jack, all which are probably going to go in my mac and cheese. I like to mix up the cheeses. So yeah, that is all I got, $50. <laughs> there wasn't even any meat in there. But like I was saying, as far as groceries go, this was kind of like all over the place kind of buy because I really only went there to replenish the snacks but then I ended up using my grocery budget because then I bought water and then cheese and the elbow macaroni so let me know down below if you guys have a budget for like holidays do you always have a food holiday budget or what do you do do you just ramp up and cash flow your holiday budget when it comes around so yeah that's it alright thanks so much for watching I'm sure though I'll probably just add the other intro from the rest of the Trader Joe's haul but peace <laughs> at the outro from the Trader Joe's Hall. Bye! Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Remember, order to be great, you have to be grateful. And I'm super duper grateful for you. Have a wonderful, blessed day, y'all. Faith over fear. Remember, all things are always working out for your good. Bye!